Hi there and welcome to this third video in our series on armed wrestling with Gregor, Bert and me, Bernhard. In the, last, in the last video we showed you how to set up your opponent for wrestling and how to close the distance. In this video we're going to take it a step further and show you a proper wrestling technique. Let's get started. We're going to use the same setup as in the last video. Bert starts with an Oberhau, which Gregor counters by throwing a counter. Oberhau ending up in a bind. Now, in order to provoke an opening, Bert is going to do an upper winden, threatening Gregor's face. Gregor will displace the threat by raising his arms, and um, Bert will make use of this opening by moving closer to him. And that's the starting position for our actual wrestling technique. Now from here, as I said, Bert can let go of his sword because he's very safe here from Gregor's sword. There's not much he can do. And um, he's in a good position now. Let's check the key points here. Bert has grabbed Gregor behind his neck using a so-called cup grip. And he's, as you can see, he's moved his head very close to Gregor's head. There's not much wriggle room for Gregor's sword arm here. Another thing to um, bear in mind is that with wrestling, you always want to keep up pressure on your opponent. So what Bert does, he's not just passively hugging Gregor behind his neck, he's actually using his full body weight, bearing down on Gregor like this. Okay, while keeping up pressure, Bert will now do a stepping maneuver, half circle step, so that he ends up halfway behind Gregor, continuing to apply pressure to Gregor's neck, of course. Now, it's easy, to Bert, uh, it's easy for Bert to grind Gregor down to the floor um, by continuing to put pressure on Gregor's neck and back and using his legs to actively produce even more leverage and pressure. Now, if you want to stay on the real safe side, you could actually grab your opponent's sword arm or its sword or the sword itself for more control. And now you basically are free to keep up this pressure and drain him off his stamina, which could be very effective in a tournament, for example. Or if punching is allowed, you could even do that. Okay? Let's check out another scenario. What happens if Gregor, when he realizes that Bert is trying to grind him down by his neck, and tries to resist by rising his upper body and straightening his neck like this? Well, there's actually another opening right there. So what Bert will do now, is he will take a quick step behind Gregor's leg by, um, while still continuing to put pressure on Gregor's upper torso. This is going to break Gregor's balance very quickly and can finish the job by just sweeping Gregor's leg in passing, like this, bringing him down to the floor and securing him right there. If you want to be very thorough, you could finish the job with a side choke. We're not going to go on into detail on side chokes here, so just check out the numerous uh, tutorials on YouTube. Jiu-Jitsu, for example, has to offer a lot uh, in terms of chokes. So that's it for today. Let's see this once more, please, in one fluid motion. <laughs> 